Let's not waste time debating this further. We already know that you trashed Officer Walker's house last night. It's like I told you in the car, man. I was home all night. And if you don't believe me, ask Connie. She swear on a stack of Bibles. You know, you beat on a woman long enough, she'll say just about anything, so you'll stop. Problem is, you picked on the wrong woman this time. Officer Walker just happens to be my wife. Uh, I remember. Big wow. You know, if anything were to happen to her, you listening to me, slimeball? She so much as breaks a fingernail, I'm holding you personally responsible. You got that? Yeah, I got it. You hassle me, I'll sue you. You got that? No, 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 wait a second. You misunderstand. We're not threatening you at all. We're just laying the facts on the table. You go near Officer Walker again. Her house, her kids, her Uncle Monty, you're in jail for the duration. Now, Ramon, do us a favor in the meantime, will you? Just, uh... Go away immediately. Cool customer. Dead meat. You know, to remind you of the speech you made to Jody about not getting too emotionally involved, don't be taking this personal, will ya? Cruz, the minute that guy drove into my driveway, he made it personal. Was that Ramon I just saw? Yeah, yeah. Recent I just had a little talk to them about the pitfalls of bugging one of Santa Barbara's phonists. And did you make your point? No. I think we might have. He was talking tough, but Reese has a way of being very convincing. What did Boswell say? He said, I'm in a meeting. Come back in a half an hour. But I'm going to prove my point because I'm right. Yeah, right. Have you ever been wrong? Actually, there was a time back in 72. Joe. You might remember this. You're not going to leave this alone, are you? I can't, Reese. I mean, you know how this is. You know what it's like when someone's life is in danger and you feel like you're the only possible person who could protect them. Yeah. Yeah, I know exactly what you mean. Where are you going? I got some police business to take care of. You know, Joe, he's real worried about you. And with good reason. I know, but I, I can't bail on Connie. You understand that. Yeah, I do. I don't like it, but I understand it. In fact, if you want me to, I'll go talk to Boswell with you. This thing with Kelly can wait. No. I don't want you around. Because then I can't use my feminine wiles on him. Go on. I'm sure Kelly's prepared something very special for lunch.